Hi, my name's Tegan and today I'm going to be discussing three questions about honeybees. So to start off, a honeybee is any member of the genus Apis, which are distinguished by their storage of honey and their construction of nests made from wax. Okay, so question one. Do these animals have rights? Why or why not? How would a utilitarian determine how they should be treated? And how can we find out what their preferences are? And does this matter? It's fair to say that honeybees do not have rights. They probably do not have rights as they are insects which currently do not have rights themselves due to lack of evidence of intelligence and feelings. Due to these lack of rights, there are a few problems with the bee industry. These include preventing the queen bee from leaving the hive by cutting off her wings, artificially inseminating the queen, taking all the honey and not leaving enough for the bees during the winter, and industries trying to make as much money as they can and maximising how many bees are kept in the one area. This leads to bees dying of starvation as there's not enough food for them all. A utilitarian would weigh the costs and benefits of the situation. So in this case, they would weigh the benefits to humans of beekeeping against the negative experiences of the bees. Bees pollinate many fruits and vegetables for us, such as watermelon, tomatoes, onions and carrots. They also create honey, pollen and royal jelly and our livestock is often dependent upon bee-pollinated forage plants such as clovers. A utilitarian would probably suggest that the suffering of bees is too much and that to continue benefiting from their pollinating, some changes would need to be made about how they're kept and treated. They would possibly suggest that five freedoms for animal welfare should be adhered to. These are freedom from hunger and thirst, freedom from discomfort, freedom from pain, injury and disease, freedom to express normal behaviour and freedom from fear and distress. Currently bees do not have freedom from hunger and thirst, which is suggested when they die from starvation. They also do not have freedom from pain, injury and disease, as pesticides and haphazard mishandling often kill them. They do have the freedom to express their normal behaviour, as that is what they do every day. However, the other two freedoms are controversial, as we are unable to dictate whether the bees feel discomfort, fear or distress. Question 2. Can this type of animal be dis domesticated? What features of the animal either make domestication possible or make it impossible? A domesticated animal is an animal that is tame and kept as a pet or on a farm. Efforts to domesticate honeybees are found in Egyptian art from around 4,500 years ago. Two species of honeybees, A. mellifera and A. serena indica, are maintained, fed and transported by beekeepers. A. mellifera, the most common domesticated species, is usually referred to as either the European, Western or common honeybee in different parts of the world. Beekeeping is generally considered to be domesticating bees, however they do not entirely meet the criteria for domestication. The criteria for domestication are a flexible diet, ability to breed in captivity, naturally live in large groups, not aggressive, not sensitive to changes in the environment, sexually promiscuous rather than bonding for life, produce young that are well in a well-developed state, have a short flight distance and have a small home range. The criteria for domestication that bees meet involve their ability to breed in captivity and are sexually promiscuous, as the queen mates with many drones and can lay up to 2,000 eggs each day. Their children are born in a well-developed state as they are only born when they are mature enough to chew out of the sealed cells to emerge. They also naturally live in large groups with a maximum of about 60,000 workers and they have a short flight distance. However, bees do not have a flexible diet. They eat pollen from flowers, honey in the winter and in captivity will eat sugar water. The queen will only eat royal jelly. Most species of honeybees are not aggressive, however the Africanized bee, which is a crossbreed of the African honeybee and the European honeybee, is quite aggressive. Their sensitivity to changes in the environment is questionable. Bees can adapt well to new environments when workers have created a large nest with well insulated interiors. However, if they do change their nesting place, they normally do so within 24 hours and can become defensive and aggressive when moving. They also have a large home range. These aspects that do not meet criterion do not seem to be issues for beekeepers around the world. It is probably likely that this is due to the honeybees being only semi domesticated. And lastly, are these animals perceived and treated differently by different cultural groups? What psychological factors might cause this to happen? Beekeeping is common in many places such as the Philippines, Nepal, New Zealand, Australia, Hungary and many more. 
Sea keeping in the Philippines is extremely common as they have coconut trees all year round which grow coconut flowers. Beekeeping under coconuts can boost the coconut farmer's earnings by about $2,000 per year. The country also has thousands of hectares of sugarcane, however the sugar farmers are financially broke because of the low price of sugar. Honeybees also visit sugar mills which increases the finances for these farmers. It seems that honeybees are well liked in most countries. In America they even have a honey queen program which promotes the practice of beekeeping, honey consumption and educating the public about bees. However, the Africanized bee is seen as a pest in many places. Its aggressive nature means it is common to kill other honeybees, queens, and has even been known to kill humans. Africanized bees are labelled as a pest in Queensland, Australia, as they are natural hosts for varroa mites, which if introduced could be a serious threat to European honeybees. There has also been a large decline of bees in China, as insecticides are extremely common, and when sprayed too often, honeybees cannot survive. Generally speaking, the honey bean is not seen differently by many cultures. Most countries celebrate honey bees and the extra revenue they bring to them. It is more common that different species, such as the Africanized bees, are perceived differently and considered pests. Okay, so that's all I have time for today. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed my discussion.